Joining us now are Eric Johnston from Kenner Fitzgerald and David Kelly from J.P. Morgan Asset Management. Uh, guys, good afternoon. David, let's talk about what happened in the market today. We strung together a couple of days for the S&P that aren't down. One more trading day before Q4. The 10-year settled down a little. What does it mean? Well, I think the, we've, we've had a very rough few weeks here, and I think particularly with, the, with rates rising, I think that's been scaring investors. So maybe, you know, maybe the market was oversold here. But I think there are still some issues going forward. I'm not particularly worried about PCE tomorrow. I think that people can figure out what the personal consumption debate is going to do once they've got the CPI numbers. The PCE debate never really surprises that much these days. Uh, but, but in general, though, there are a lot of pressures in the U.S. economy. We don't know at this stage whether the government's going to shut down this weekend. We know the resumption of student loan payments are going to hurt consumers. Uh, we're looking at the highest 30-year fixed-rate mortgage rates since the year 2000, uh, slowing down the housing market and making it more difficult for consumers. So we can see a slowdown coming. There are a lot of signs that the economy is going to grow more slowly. And the, and, you know, the real question is, you know, can interest rates begin to come down to reflect that, or are we going to have more of a hard landing uh, because interest rates were just too high in the selling economy? Okay, I hear that. But at the same time, Eric, Q4 is generally historically good for stocks. It was a textbook bad September, uh, you know, the last two weeks especially. You've been bearish equities all year. That's largely been wrong. Why are you going to be right about Q4? Yeah, I would just say first that the equity returns over the last year and two years while they've been bearish have been uh, quite negative, especially when you compare them to the 5% uh, cash yield that's out there, which we've been recommending. Um, but right now, if you look at the fourth quarter seasonals, you're absolutely right that they look very good. So the last um, you know, 28 times that we've been up more than 10% heading into October, 23 of the 28 times the market has done, has done well. But we think that the fundamentals and the economic uh, challenges right now are all coming to a head as we speak and is going to likely overwhelm that fourth quarter seasonality. Though I will tell you we're very respectful of it because, yes, stocks have, have done very well in, in the fourth quarters. But if you look at the economic headwinds that are coming together as we speak, you've had oil that's moved up 30 percent in three months, the 10-year yield up 85 basis points in just two months, the dollar's rallying. And this is all happening as excess savings is declining, the student loan moratorium is ending. And so you have this situation where, and there's also a big delayed impact for rate hikes, which is not just theory, but is actually happening in practice. And it's all happening late cycle, and it's happening with an equity risk premium that's just 50 basis points. You are still not getting paid to own equities, just like you weren't a year ago, and just like you weren't two years ago. It still is not a good risk reward.